So this patient is a diabetic patient who presented with acute coronary syndrome that means he have a minor heart attack with increasing in the enzyme. And we did an angiogram before and showing a significant stenosis of the one of his arteries, a significant block. So we did some investigation at that time and we, we found that this, this type of stenosis will be fought for the new technology we are using now. So this is the old one, which is used all over the world. So the stent is from here to here. And there is th three types, stainless steel or cobalt chromium, alloy, and there's a medication covering that stent. The one which is supposed to be used today is a different one. This will remain for life. Of course, today is a history and 23rd of January 2012. This is the opening ceremony for this. First absorb in the Middle East. Digest this material. After two years, change it into water and gas. It looks like a significant lesion in there, lady. BMW. Now we're positioning it. There's marker. This is for the future. So I will tell you that there was a scaffold there after it's dissolved. This is a very minute camera at the tip here that will be take picture from inside the heart. And that picture we see it in that monitor. Okay. You are in the scaffold area. انت رقم واحد في الشرق الاوسط This is the wire where we go to the artery and cross the blockage. So let's see the balloon here. This is you go to the blocked area and dilate. To prepare the area for the stent or scaffold in this case. This is the scaffold. You have seen it before. So this is. This is which going to be dissolved in the body in two years' time. Which is very good, especially for young people, because the artery will be able to flex normally later on, rather than like being in a cage. الفرق يعني قبل وبعد Today we are proud to announce one big achievement for Dubai Health Authorities as we know Dubai Health Authorities especially the cardiac centers and Dubai Health Authorities has been a tremendous achievements both on a scientific level on a service level on patient education on patient service and patient treatments and this is not recognized only locally, but it is even recognized in, in international levels. To keep up to the standard and to move to, from, uh, to a higher level, we need to bring the latest uh, evidence-based technology. And that's why we are here today making a history. This is the fourth revolution in the world of cardiology. I think finally, we are very proud. We are very proud in making history. Dubai it is not only buildings. Dubai is not only tourism. Dubai is not only nice thing to see, like when we see everything. Now Dubai, Dubai is mean science. Dubai is mean research. Dubai is mean heart disease, cardiology, 
and we are very proud to put Dubai and this is with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put Dubai in the global map. Now when you see Dubai, it's not only it's coming to mind the buildings, it could become the scaffold, it could become the heart and I have a very, I am very proud to hear from one of the big cardiologists worldwide, he said if I have a heart disease, I will go to Dubai to do it. That's very good and you know what, uh, we are following our great example who is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, exactly. who is always advising us to be creative, to be number one. So that's what we are trying to do and we want to be the first in the region. We want to be the first in the Middle East. We want to be the first worldwide. So, inshallah. Insha so, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, is the leading in all the fields, as you said. It's not just buildings and treating patients, and especially the heart, because the heart is the most important organ.